Well, the label made in Kenya is not something you often see on high-tech speed governance recorders, but a young Kenyan technopreneur is trying to change that with his Omata Speed Limiter registered under the trademark of Dalcom Kenya Limited. Africa 54 Spawn Diho recently visited the tech company in Nairobi and has our report. The Omata Road Speed Limiter or Cruise Control, commonly known in Kenya as the Speed Governor, is a state-of-the-art microcontroller technology that assures accurate, smooth operation of the vehicle. The Speed Limiter computes the speed of the vehicle and continuously monitors the car. Once the vehicle reaches a set maximum speed, it stops the car from going beyond the required speed limit. The tech company was started in 2006 by David Kiare, a Nairobi-based technopreneur who wanted to do something good for his community and make some money. We are manufacturers of the Said brand. Uh, we manufacture them here in Kenya. Dalcom's business is booming. It has gone from selling and installing just a few gadgets in vehicles to partnering with government agencies, Matatus are the primary means of public transportation in Nairobi and other vehicles. The product has been approved in Nigeria. Uh, we have uh, done uh, a demo to them and the product already is there. Uh, we are just waiting for them to start uh, enforcing the law. Already we have started fitting some vehicles there. Already now as we are talking we are, we are doing an office in Rwanda. And as we are talking, people are from uh, the government for, of Ethiopia. They have sent their delegates here, and uh, we are having some discussion. We want to go to Ethiopia also. So, so. Dalcom wants to become Kenya's biggest manufacturer for road safety gadgets. David Kiari says his company wants to create a product by Kenyans for Africans, thereby creating an avenue for young men and women with the skills in craftsmanship and arts to explore their talents and abilities to fulfill their dreams. Most of us are technicians, okay. but uh, we all have that innovative uh, spirit in us. Mm. So basically, most of us are self-taught. Uh, maybe not, uh, most of us didn't go to college to mm -hmm. study. Mm -hmm. Most of us learned on the job. Okay. Yeah, and that's how we got to be as good as we are. Mm. Omata Speed Governor is among those technologies approved by the Kenya Bureau of Standards for use in vehicles. And the installation of the speed control gadgets is among measures spearheaded by the Ministry of Transport to help curb road accidents. This is the ignition key. Uh, so just like in a real vehicle, when, it, when, the, when a vehicle is uh, in neutral, you can see the revs, mm. the rev counter is already counting. Eh? So after you engage first gear, that's when you can see you've started now moving. Um, and then, but there's also a speed you cannot go beyond. Then you engage gear two, then the speed increases. Uh, gear three, now that's when the speed is a bit faster. And then uh, now gear four, that's when now you get to where the speed needs to be limited. Over speed? Yes. Over speed. Yes. It goes 80, it goes back. Whenever it goes beyond 80, yeah, 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 yeah. it shows up. It here. shows there, yeah, yeah. Analysts seem to agree. They say since the Kenyan government started enforcing the use of digital speed limiters like Omata, the number of accidents on the roads has reduced drastically. And for technopreneurs like David, whose Omata brand is becoming a household name, hopes to stay competitive. But whether it can sustain the growth, keep the price point low and continue to employ workers at high wages than its counterparts will ultimately be the true test. Paul Liho, VOA News.